Hello everyone, this is Poom here, back with another video. And right now, in this game, we will be playing uh, Rakan Twitch versus Verisena. So once again, this is a pretty common matchup, I would say. Um, where people love playing ranged supports into Rakan. They love trying to like bully him in the early game and, and doing those types of things. So what I did with my runes is I went... Um, I went Glacial Augment, that way that if I ever do get a W off on them, they will be slowed and it's very easy to finish off kills. I also have Hex, Hex, or Hex Flash, that way I can use my Flash and then uh, usually none of the their opponent or none of my opponents will go Hex Flash. So what that's going to do is that I can use my Flash and then they'll probably have 2 Flash and then I'll have Hex Flash advantage. So I will be able to sit in bushes and just Hex Flash and look for a W and look for an All In. And that's what we want to keep doing in this type of lane. We want to keep trying to find an all-in, because once we find one good all-in, uh, it's we will just be able to perma kill them. So here we see they're starting in lane. So it means that uh, their jungler is probably starting topside, or she might just be leashless botside. We're no, we don't know yet. So I never want to start. I never really want to W in early game, uh, especially versus double range. It's pretty hard to do anything. They're playing very respectful, so I'm not going to level up anything just yet. I'm just going to start hitting the minions to try to match them if they're level 2. But it looks like it, they're going to get level 2 first, so I'm just going to play slow here. Play Just wait safely. Just going to keep playing in bushes, guys. Keep playing in bushes. You guys see how they have to play super safe. They have to play really far back. Just waiting. Twitch probably wants level 3 before fighting. I'm okay with that. I do have WE, so I'm just gonna play like this here, in and out of the bushes, in and out. I'm just gonna maybe pressure the enemy team here by going in and out of the bushes. I'm gonna get the cannon for him. Okay, he used Hail of Blades on me, so now. Uh, if we can wait for our Twitch Hail of Blades, we can win an all in here. Maybe on our level 3. Level 3 power spike. Look for a W here. Their junglers here, so I'm just gonna try to maybe hit the center a little bit. But he looks a little bit dead. Where is Flash, Ghost? Did they use heal? Nope, they didn't use heal. They still have heal. So now my play is just to play slow and just um, hold the wave a little bit and make it really annoying for them to. I'm not gonna W in because I wouldn't be able to kill him. They still have heal, as we just said. Wanna cancel their recall here. Just be just be annoying here. Just gonna walk back up. Maybe I can bait him. Gonna deem at the cannon. He might be basing in this bush. He's not or he might be, I'm not sure. Just gonna push here, two points in Q because I really like the damage. Personally speaking. Team at the melee. Q. Auto. Alright, now I'm looking to recall. Want my boots, which is super important here in this line. As long as he doesn't die to the Senna, that's okay. He should be fine. So now, uh, my ADC is basing, so I'm gonna look for this here. I'm gonna come to this, uh, gonna come to this mark. My kindred really wants this mark. I'm on the way here. Maybe we can bait it. Oh, Echo used his E. She can definitely walk in here. I'm on the way. I'm gonna take this path, the safe way. Oh. Oh, it's crazy. I'm here. Oh, I completely missed.
Well, that's my fault there. We could have killed Echo. Uh, I just completely whiffed. Now we're going back to bot lane. I mean, I hope my Twitch doesn't die here. That would be a little bit sad. Maybe he can kill. We'll see. We definitely spike on our level 6, so... I'm just gonna wait behind here. I'm gonna look for a... Um, maybe an EW. Oh. I'm not really given an angle, so I'm just gonna walk up and show myself. I'm gonna hold the wave here. Look for a Q. Heal my uh, AD carry. So we know they're on dragon. Our wave is pushing out. I'm gonna walk up here in Q. Missed. He has no hail of blades here, so I'm gonna look for a W. Alright, we got Senna Flash now. We get this cannon for him. We're ganking mid. I'm just gonna control right this. So now we're basing again. We take our happy little base. I'm gonna get another control ward, and now because I'm almost 6 and they have no flashes, now it's a kill angle. Now, on our next fight, we want to be able to kill them. So we don't want to take like an unnecessary risk, we don't want to... Um, we don't want to lose this fight, basically. This one is very like, it's the game turning fight, it's the... It's our opportunity here to win the game. So, now this guy has no flash, he might die, he might not. I can't really help. Perfect. We were able to get a kill there. Now this, this kill, insane. Okay, I'm gonna leave my ADC be able to farm this wave by himself because it might take a... Oh, actually, I'm gonna demat the cannon just so we can dive bot. So I'm just gonna demat the cannon then I'm gonna run away. I'm gonna run to the jungle and then we're looking to play between their tower. Why are we doing this? Because we killed their support over here that's it I'm gonna try to dodge the various ultimate all right so now we got various flash twitch is gonna get a kill here I don't have e yet I don't have e or I have e We're all dead. That's okay. That was a good amount of gold that we got on our team, if I'm being honest. That was worth it. That was well worth it. And we get a good topside play there. That was well worth it, guys. That was well worth it. We got the Kindred Mark too. We got everything we wanted. The Grubs are spawning in 34 seconds, but... Because I'm playing versus double range and I have a Twitch, I want to get ahead. I don't want to roam too much. I roamed earlier and my Twitch is a little bit far behind, so I don't want to make him go too far behind. You know, you guys know what I mean? I want to make sure that my Twitch is happy, that my Twitch has gold. So I'm just going to wait behind him. We see their Senna. Their Senna is just moving. Their Senna is clearing my words. Their Senna might move to Grubs here. So I'm going to ping. Maybe my Twitch can go invisible. Looks like he won't. So I'm gonna W this. We don't wanna uh, just we don't wanna freeze here. Freezing at this time is, is kind of bad. So it looks like their senna is moving, so I'm just gonna ping careful. Yeah, we see their senna. 
So we just we just want to push. We just want to push, and we want to dive. Want to dive? We want to get plates. We want to dive and we want to get plates. See, we're just trading. See, my, my top, my jungler understands. He's not going to die for this. And we're going to get two plates here. We might even get the full tower. I'm going to ping my ADC because I want to farm this wave here. I don't want their ADC to walk up. I don't want their ADC to get anything, in fact. Both of them, because we see their jungler, I'm not letting them any of them walk up here. I want to make sure that he understands that I want to fight here. Oh, that was unfortunate. It's still okay though. Alright, so we got their support flash. Now it's probably time to get out. It's a good time to get out. We got our kill. Let's push this wave and then let's go let's just go home. Dragon in ten. Facing. Let's ping our Twitch to not get this tower. Hopefully this guy's about to, he's able to get it by himself. It looks like he is. No danger. <coughs> so here I'm just gonna help, but if if it does become spicy, we are just getting out. I don't wanna do anything here. There's Balin's there. So it looks like my Twitch is laning mid, looking for an, a kill opportunity. Losing a lot of HP here for no reason, but that's all right. The support was planning to base, so here what it lets me do is because I know that he wants to base, I'm just gonna look for an angle to maybe. Oh, there's some fruits. That's good. So here we're gonna try to slip in maybe into bot. Maybe we can find an angle here. It could be warded. It doesn't look like it is, but it could it could it could be. Okay, it could be here. So we have to be careful. Okay, they see us. So it's just nothing. They're going in on mid here. We have flash. So here we're on the way to help. I'm gonna charge my ult here. I missed. That's a little unfortunate. Oh, we're gonna base, we got bot turret, we got a bot kill. We're gonna get a bot mark. So now guys, we hold tab, we see Herald. Herald in five seconds and there's a top turret, there's a mid turret. Now we wanna use this Herald, we wanna break this top turret and we wanna break this mid turret. Usually you always want to use Herald to break mid turret, okay? You never really want to use it on the side lane unless you're going for two towers. If you can get this tier two with the Herald, it's worth it. If you can't, probably avoid it. Just try to use the Herald for mid. It's just the mid is the most important turret of the game. I'm gonna clear their wards here. Mid is the most important turret of the game. Their balling can't really play when they don't have any... Um, we see their jungler here. So just setting up a line because I saw everyone, right? I'm not really scared. Now they're gonna clear my vision. They only saw one. They only saw one. So it's ignited just in case. No. This fucker. This Herald reset it on us. That's sad, but it's okay. We're gonna use this Herald, and because we saw two of them, let's think. Maybe we can use it mid right now? Let's think. We see they're low. He's full HP. Alright, we got their ultis. It's not a Herald timer. Oh. 
That was a nice dodge. I can't W here, so I'm not gonna W. Oh, I'm a little bit low. Okay, I'm basing. Goodbye everyone, going home. I have Baron Recall. So now we wanna go back mid. See, we make a line. Their turret, this turret's dead, this turret's dead. This one's the last one standing. Let's get it, guys. Let's let's use our Herald. Let's create a advantageous map position for all of us while they have no turrets. See? They have no turrets. Their plays are very hard. They're much harder to, to make. So here, because I saw their support was basing, I'm just walking in. Again, it's all on tempo, okay? We, I have tempo advantage. I'm very safe to do all of this. No one can kill me. They can't do anything. So I don't want to use Herald just yet, just because. We're making a top play. I don't want to use Herald. Hopefully we don't lose 2v1. Whoa, that was close. So here I just want to hide here. I'm just waiting. I'm just waiting, guys. Just waiting. Okay, we saw their jungler top and we see their mid laner. So now I'm going to Herald. Always ride the Herald, guys. Always ride it. So oh, here, because they're stacking up and they're just like in our area, just punish them. You know, it's a little bit illegal what they're doing. Now we want to get this dragon. I'm going to put a deep ward mid just so we have continuous intel on them and what they're doing. They're going to clear it. That's okay. They used sweeper. So here we gave up a bot tier 1 for their mid tier 1, which is alright. We got a kill, we got a flash, we got Senna flash. We need to maybe echo my jump over this wall, so let's try to think, let's try to... Alright, he's not jumping, we're basing. Now what do we do guys? There's not much to do. There's just not much to do now. The only thing we'll be doing is... We're trying to play for kills. We're trying to punish them on mid with Twitch. We're trying to hold like a triangle of vision, okay? We wanna we wanna feel safe on both sides and we wanna just move around with the with the jungle. Oh, our jungler is going topside, we're going topside, that type of stuff. There's no objective, like it's not like a really clear objective to do, right? So we're just gonna play with our jungler. That's just it. Our jungler needs to clear camps, then we'll clear camps with them. He doesn't have to clear camps, then we'll fight with them. So I'm gonna use the cone in the top here because I just saw them so I want to be try to help my team in case they can't walk up he can't really go in the lane so I'm just gonna come I'm gonna give him a ward I'm gonna hit the plant I'm just gonna stay here I'm gonna stay here I'm gonna wait maybe a kinjut comes my kinjut's coming so maybe we can walk in here I'm gonna start sweeping I'm pretty sure their jungler's in the bush. Okay, so we do have to. I'm gonna use my W. Yep, their jungler's in here. Perfect. I'm gonna ignite. Or I don't have ignite. Sorry. Look to help my Twitch. Wow, my Twitch just got one shot. We have to try to kill their jungler here. Okay, their jungler stays alive. All of us are dead. I'm running away. Alright, so we did make a play. They did have TP advantage, so we should have maybe been a bit more cautious in that type of fight. But it's alright, we got their TP. Um, hopefully our mid laner doesn't die here. He's dead, but maybe he can get shut down. Alright, he got the shutdown. 350 gold. I'm gonna tell my Twitch here to come defend the mid, because... We should not give this up. Gonna sweep here. Gonna try to link up with my Twitch. Just because he might be looking for a play. So I'm gonna try to link up with them here. Magic. I'm gonna look. I'm just gonna W. I missed. That's a little unfortunate. I'm gonna speed my team here. I'm gonna tank for them. Just gonna tank. They wanna do Baron. Um. 
guys? Do we really want to do the Baron Nasher? Are we sure we want to do the Baron Nasher? Your junglers here. I'm gonna block for my kindred so she doesn't take unnecessary damage. I have W and 1. I'm not gonna take the kill. Perfect, guys. We played in our vision, okay? We played in our vision and we ma we wait for them to walk into us. And we're gonna do the same thing here. We're gonna do the same thing here. We play into our vision because we know they have no vision of us. So here, I probably need to tank this Baron Nasher. We have no tank and we do it faster when um, someone else is tanking other than our DPS dealers. Perfect. So now, the dragon is spawning soon, 55 seconds, all their tier 2's are up, that means that we will be playing 2 lanes probably, maybe 3 lanes because we have a twist of fate, but it does mean that we want to play mid to bot, that's what we want to do, because that's where the dragon is. So mid to bot, maybe we can uh, get a tier 2 before we get uh, the dragon, I'm going to hit the plant so my twitch feels safe. I'm going to charge my ulti and then I'm just going to kill their ADC here. So their ADC is dead. My ADC might be dead. Oh, he's okay. Perfect. So now we got a mid tier 2. Now we're gonna get a, maybe a bot tier 2. Sooner or later. It might not be instantly. Look to peel. He has R, so... My Twitch was r running away from me, so unfortunately that's the only way he could have lived is through me. I don't want to flash. I have to be careful for Echo. Gonna, four of them are dead, hit the plant here. So because we have Baron, we should prioritize um, hitting objectives, or hitting towers over the objectives. So here we're gonna put a deep ward mid. Is it a one shot? Wow, his champ's kind of OP. He doesn't even need my help. Alright, so the question is now, should we keep going bot or should we not? Yes, we should, guys. We have Baron and we want to get this turret out of the map. So here we want to just keep pushing. We don't really have uh, much reason to recall. I'm on the way here. I'm going to charge my ult. Oh. Just going to ward here just in case. Right, perfect, we were able to get kills. Now, should we go for this top turret? No, we should not, guys. This top turret, it's out of the question. Why? Because we have too much tempo. To, like, we have too much um, gold on our hands. We have all of these things. And we will just let our Twisted Fate do it. Because they're all dead. He might uh, run into Echo here, so he must be careful. But we are on the way. So now see, we're matching tempo here, our ADC is very fast, and we might even be able to end the game. Our Kindred was able to kill them and that type of stuff, and they're very tilted, so I'm sure their Echo is just maybe AFK in the base, you know. And there's uh, other varying factors that are tied into this, uh, this game, as to why we can maybe end. I don't have W. So here we're getting triple in hip. We have Twitch ult. Gonna let my Twitch just do his thing here. Now we have triple in hip. We're just looking to end. Our Kindred has 4.5 thousand gold. So we're gonna take probably one recall, then come back on the map and just try to end. That's our plan here. So back on the map with Kindred. Lots of gold, see? You got like almost two full items from that. There's a ward behind you. <laughs> we have two invisible champs in their base. <laughs> That's kind of funny. 
Their Twitch or their their Varus just wants to. He just wants to lose. He wants out. Oh, he sold all of his items. I didn't realize. But that's how you tilt them, guys. That's how you tilt the people in Diamond. Always an easy way to engage, guys. If you have the range, just W into R combo. That that way the CC, the CC is a little longer. You are able to just get a full duration of charm and a knockup. But if they have flash or if they have anything, then it it is harder to 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 make happen. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this recon video, and I hope to see you in the next video. Have a good night.